So now we have binocular vision. And in order for us to be able to focus, clearly we need to have both eyes being able to focus or converge on the same spot. Now, there's really no other exercise I know that's better for that than the fusion string. Now, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can kind of see that against my shirt there. So what it is, is it's a string with every six inches or so, there's a little bead. And so you want this perfectly level with the eyes and you hold it up to your nose and you focus on each bead, you go down and down and down and then all the way back. So you can tie this to a doorknob, you can uh, tape it to the wall, tack it to the wall, anything like that. And so what you do is, obviously this would be directly out, on, this is kind of slanted down because I'm a little tall for this particular string, but you focus on the front bead with the, with the string held up to your nose. And when you do that, it makes a V. You'll notice that the, that seems like the thread splits. And then you work your way down, you go from there to the next bead, to the next bead. And then when you get closer towards the middle, you'll notice that it makes an X and that's your eyes trying to converge on that particular spot. And if you notice as you shift from one towards the middle to the one further back, that it seems like the, the string crosses in a different spot. But as you work your way down to the very last string, it looks like an A without a cross in the middle. So it's, Starting at the front, it's a V, at the back it's an A without a cross part, and then it's an X in the middle. So then what you can do with that is you can do different variations where you start at the first, first beat, and then you go to the last beat, and then you jump to the second beat, and then you kind of jump around that way, just practicing on focusing your eyes and training your eyes to be able to focus on a particular spot and converge on that spot. And that is going to help with your binocular vision to make sure you're able to focus better. And if you don't see, if you, when you look up and you only see one string the whole way, cover one eye and, and look, and then cover the other eye and look, and that'll tell you which one of your eyes you need to work on the most, that the one that's the weakest. And, and just focus on this. You can do this with one eye at first, and then work your way with both eyes, and just work that into, into your daily practice, five, 10 minutes a day, and it's gonna be truly amazing what you're able to see. And like I said before, it's always about just acceptance, what you can see, not what you actually want to see, but what you can see, okay?